got FH and the newcomer here, uh, uh, Kalen? Kelly and Kelly and Bow have taken a taken to calling him Kel, taking to calling him Kel in this. But I decided that during the break, after I got some water, we go. I decided his name is Kel, and this and of course we're familiar with FH. FH has had a a, a long time recurring run uh, in the Legend tournament scene, and has even walked away with the Legend title in the past too. Pre bans are already route there, Stoic. I mean, Ragdoll's getting a pre-ban again, and I feel like that just says a lot about what he's trying to bring to the table. We're going to see a lot of AoE units that FH wants to draft and, uh, you know, doesn't want to have a Ragdoll interrupt whatever he's trying to do. FH taking the diligent route right now, which is so wild. And then, of course, we already talked about uh, uh, Kel bringing in the Maximilian. We saw that it was his style of play here. Uh, probably with, like, a Nikki potential. There's the Nikki now. Bringing no, some nice attack to the Maximilian. This is this is pretty fearsome coming from Kel right now. They're threatening threatening a really high damage opener. This is going to be crazy if uh, FH is not able to outlast it. So he's going to have to bring something in to interrupt it, I think, beyond just what Volantis offers with the chance to stun. Oh, flashing the Douglas there for a wow. second could be kind of interesting, but I think it's overkill. Uh, let's see what he ends up locking so in wow. there. I, I almost really liked the same. I thought the same A was pretty nice. Um... Yeah, I mean, hey, the same is going to be coming back. Wow, we just we it's haven't seen Ciara. this unit in forever. We're actually seeing a CR come in here now. This that's is one crazy. of the best daughters in the game. Where you know sometimes these bombs are coming through, <laughs> and that's why you know Ciara hasn't been making such an appearance anymore. We're going to see the light Avor get the ban here. Of course, same is going to be getting the ban out as well. There's a lot of dots that are going to be being applied to the field with this Volantis. So to no surprise, seeing same get in the ban, giving way too much sustain yeah. there for. Raquel, though. But what we're seeing is like a diligent 2.0 with a Ciara going up against Kel in this match number one here. So this is exciting. Yeah, check that opener. It's a good thing they banned that same A because you wouldn't want that dot on skill two from Ciara only lasting one turn because that's all she does. Let's put a dot on. There we go. Opening turn from Yan Hong getting a nice boost for the team. Veronica, skill three and gets the full team increased cooldown time start. Yep, that's why. Look at the respect right now going towards CR, being the unit that he's really trying to try and get rid of, and all those hits. Hitting the field for oh, the next million, man. Oh, let's see this damage. So 2.2, I, I think I might even start like a 2.6 if I got it at Nikki, so that was some really, really big damage, but a commanding first round victory there coming out of Cal. He's able to drop this uh, Volantis, and there you have it. Just totally annihilates the uh, FH with, with the power of Maximilian, to be honest with you quick and clean just waltzes in here and an easiest game of his life you know kel just comes right in has the strategy but that's what we were talking about so we called this out in the pick fan phase needed something to disrupt that cleave i mean the cleave was was so obvious from the beginning if that volantis was an abelio even I, 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 well i'd like an abelio in addition to be honest i have no problem with Volantis. but like that was we needed something to stop the cleave but i'm glad we got to see it kel has already made a name for himself right now that was quite the declaration right there that, that really was. I mean, we saw the big pumpage coming in from Nikki, of course, the Maximilian as well. So a lot of damage hit that field and it hit it fast, man. I don't think Ciara was the response there. Uh, I, I don't know if he thought like maybe the 24 speed lead was just a massive necessity that he needed to have. Uh, but I, I didn't see the, the reason to, to bring the Ciara now. So very interesting last pick there but when he dropped in that Ciara. Oh, yeah. I, I would I would say that the, the draft did not necessarily support FH winning that game. Let's see if he can pull it around. And frankly, if, if Kel can do the same thing again, or if that might just be something that you do on that first round to get the early one point. For those, of, for those of you who are joining in a little bit later, we are operating on a best of three setup right now in the semifinals until we make it to the finals, which is a best of five. So meaning Kel, all of a sudden, the newcomer is at match point. What? Same A gets the ban. All right, so no I wasn't way, actually Stoic. expecting Same A to get the ban. I was, I was 100% thinking Maximilian, maybe even potentially Nikki getting the bans out here. But uh, Same A, wow. So he clearly wants to play a lot of Volantis. Uh, he definitely wants to play a lot of Widget um, when he's pre-banning out a, uh, a Same A. Huh. He was really thinking about that before he locked it in. You know, that was one of those pseudo expressive moments that we talked about earlier it's because it's like am i bringing this into anti-crit do i care about anti-crit you know i saw masha obey it last time but as is my maximilian gonna miss crit we'll find out 
Well, so in the last round, the, the was it, I believe there was a Juno that clearly made it through as well. Oh my God, I'm such a big fan of Kellyan right now. I'm loving Trinity. this. He just wants to bring the? heat. This guy wants to bring firepower, and I love every bit. Of no, bring it back. Oh, no. oh, bring no. It back. <laughs> Cal! The, Cal was about to become the people's champion right there. What is the light Ivor is a really cool unit, but like it's so funny seeing it here on the main stage at the Legend Tournament first, even before I've actually seen it uh, presented anywhere else. This is crazy. I mean, I love the content pick. This is great. Ah, uh, definitely. But I also really like Kellyan's draft right now. I think Kellyan's just bringing so much aggression right now that he really cares about the time that I'm going to bed because I'm. I feel like we're looking at a 2-0 right now. <laughs> He's trying to make up for lost time, you know, it's like in that game where oh, I love uh, it. there was all those support units. It's coming back as a fifth pick Please. stoic. Please, just, just lock it in. For the people. For the people, Kellyan. Yes. And he did it for the people. We get the Trinity through. This is excellent, man. We're locking in double speed lead. We're locking in some serious no damage way. right now. FH has so much to worry about. And I feel like we're just getting Wajet banned. Yeah, I was like, he doesn't want to have to deal with this. This is so great. Wajet's like, not banned. Oh, Stoic, this is exactly what I love to see at the Legend Tournament. This is like just the sort of bombastic draft. Like, look at, look at these, look at these monsters. Trinity, Maximilian, we got the Light Ivor picked out of nowhere. This is awesome. I'm loving this so far. Here we go. We kind of know how this plays out by this point. We know that the Yonhong's fast enough to take turn one. Might go for the boost to try to strip off the Volantis and risk getting punished off that skill one. Does in fact do it, and the boost is enough to get the Dark Robo in front of the of the of the Ivor next up. Oh yeah, 100%. He's going to be taking it. He's not too worried about it. We're going to watch so much damage hit this field right now. Look at these defense breaks, and look at this Trinity primed and ready. She's coming in to shut it down. Kellyan cares about the time that I go to bed tonight, and I love no every bit of this. Way. Kellyan, I am such a big fan. No way, man. That was awesome. That was so cool. This, this is great. That, uh, this is the type of legend tournament I'm trying to see, Stoic. That was absolutely pristine. And we know what a great player FH is. So to do this on your first legend tournament showing to FH is crazy. That was, and you see FH man in these legendary tournaments all the time. And we've got this newcomer came in and just, what a big strong man he was. That was amazing. He cleaved in the Legend Tournament. This is this is absolutely insane. I was not expecting to see that pay off two times. And the sheer amount of the, the speed, the, the, the proper assessment, boosting just ahead of the Light Ivor so that way Maximilian could push through because you saw Light Ivor was constantly the next to move. We get that based on that new change to show us like who's moving next in RTA. She was right there, but she just couldn't get enough attack bar to go forward. That was like on the knife's edge right there, but it was so good.